Hi guys, in today's session we are going to learn about PHP full stack, the PHP stack, right? which is PHP, HTML5, CSS, MySQL, MongoDB, so we have that kind of a stack that we are teaching here at Avoda. So when you talk about full stack, there are kind of different kinds of full stack developers, so you might have some developers who are into uh, things like Node.js um, and that kind of a stack, Python backend. Uh, this is primarily for easier not too heavy kind of web applications. Uh, so the avoda.com platform is actually built on this stack. The PHP, CSS, HTML5, MongoDB, uh, sometimes uh, you know MySQL, this kind of a stack. So this is a relatively easy going stack. It's not like a very difficult thing to learn. Uh, the positive of, I first I'll explain the positives, then I'll go to the negatives. So the positives of learning this particular course is that it's very easy to learn. The second positive is that uh, the website, the applications that this builds, that these kind of programming languages build are extremely common. So if you go online, most of the websites are not really heavy powered websites, right? I mean, a lot of the local website creations that we get, you know, if you have a small IT firm somewhere in your city or somewhere in your state, you will get a lot of work for building websites. And this will be primarily from smaller businesses, smaller companies. Who just want to have a website so that if people search for them on Google, no, they can get the website. So for these kind of clients, this stack is absolutely perfect. Uh, if you look at um, you know any kind of a smaller applications which are not so heavy, um, these kind of uh, languages are again perfect for that. Not so heavy in the sense you know Facebook things like Facebook are not might not be is definitely not possible to build with this kind of programming language. But you know applications like Facebook or Zomato. Zomato also could be possible with this, but applications like Facebook, you know, or let's say Instagram or YouTube, uh, these are not applications that we generally get all the time, right? I mean, in the entire world, there are only few social medias that are trending or that are leading. So it's not very common to get these kind of works, especially if you're an IT company or an IT outsourcing company. So the more common thing for smaller IT outsourcing companies would be to get applications of these small companies, small businesses, uh, single page websites, mm, you know 10 page websites with simple kind of a uh, architecture so these kind of IT outsourcing companies you know, they'll always have a team of people who are well experienced in this stack which is the CSS HTML5 JavaScript, HTML5, JavaScript MySQL this kind of stack so uh, we at Avoda we're teaching this particular course to be able to cater to that particular job demand so we teach Android we teach Flutter you know we are teaching uh, Python these can all be used for advanced applications but the PHP CSS HTML5 JavaScript this particular stack is to cater to those uh, first of all to those job roles which are not so complicated but that job still exist. Another huge benefit of this is it's a very simple programming language which anyone can learn. Now, a lot of people do ask me the question, uh, why is Avoda.com built on such an easy stack, right? Uh, so when I started Avoda.com back in June of 2020, uh, I never really expected it to be growing so fast. Uh, so it was just meant as a very simple platform just for teaching my students and educating my students uh, and I just had a digital marketing class, I had a physical uh, training center in Kerala so I just had one physical say, training center so it, it was just meant for them and to train them during the pandemic so this was during the lockdown during the corona pandemic uh, so uh, people couldn't really have physical classes and that's why the website was initially made so simple with such a simple programming language but then eventually the website you know grew to become a pan India level uh, website with you know uh, more than 400 students and rolling every single day uh, so that was quite sudden and as I mentioned in another session I mentioned this in the Android session I believe that once an application grows whether it's a website or a mobile app it's next to impossible to convert that from one programming language to another it's very difficult very expensive next to impossible uh, so that's why I say next to impossible it is possible but it's very difficult uh, so that's why I chose so sort of not to do that and to continue running it on the stack and by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ till today it does need to work I mean there's no problem in the platform it's moving smoothly uh, so having said that there are so many so many so many businesses that start small that start with the stack the job requirement the job openings are absolutely wonderful you will have so many openings uh, in this particular section you will have so many openings in this particular job role uh, in the CSS HTML5 stack it's easy to learn you can build attractive web applications so if you open avoda.com you see all kinds of videos and animations uh, if you look at any kind of CSS HTML5 stack websites you will see it's very attractive very good to see uh, functionally it might not be so complicated but uh, functionally it might be simple but the application design will be absolutely good uh, will be absolutely beautiful uh, um, so we actually use the WordPress engine uh, to run this thing and then we customize using this programming language at Abodha. Uh, same story with New York Times, New York Times is actually a very famous news publication in the United States. 
Uh, they also use the same stack on a WordPress engine. Uh, many, many big companies do use it uh, because you know they started off with this and they can't change. Uh, but generally, if it's a big company already, they prefer not to use the stack. But small businesses, small businesses, small companies, they prefer to use the stack because it's very easy to use and things like that. Now, compared to Python or Android or Flutter, the salary package for a full stack PHP guy would be lesser. It could be on average 15 to 20 percent lesser, but the benefit is is it is is, is that it's extremely easy to study. It's very 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 simple to study. It's much simpler than the other uh, Android, Flutter, or you know Python. It's very simple uh, to study, relatively speaking, comparatively speaking. It's very easy to learn, and that's why. This is a programming language that has picked up a lot, especially among software developers who want to be in the IT industry, but who don't want to, you know, get into all of the complications of these languages, but they want to keep it simple. Uh, so again, our product offering remains the same, three month rigorous online training through 24 seven available pre-recorded sessions and live sessions for doubt clearance that happen in the evenings. And Saturday, Sunday, we have very rigorous interview training to help you play the interviews for any of the courses that you study with us. Uh, followed by, you will have either a paid, you will be offered a paid or an unpaid internship in the door that you've learned with us so for this stack you know I'm, I'm generally very confident for this stack because you know you have so many openings out there with so many small small IT companies and local companies you know some people might tell us Ki, okay I'm from a I'm from a place in UP I'm on the outskirts of Lucknow uh, will I get a job next to my home or will I get a job nearby my home so this is one course and then you have the stock market course some courses like that where the job kind the job type is available in all of the corners because relatively because this is meant for smaller companies this is a job role you'll find in most of the minor cities also but you know things like data science or uh, things like core python these are job roles and job openings that you might not find in tier two cities moreover it might be available in tier one cities i mean data science proper job is always safe to target a tier one city but things like this you know the tendency of getting jobs like this in tier two cities is also quite high so it's possible uh, so i would recommend this for students who are not looking to move out of their native place also uh, so that's it about the php full stack course guy, full stack uh, course guys in the next session we're going to learn python and django python and django how it's effective for your students it is uh, one of the most important programming languages on the face of the planet in my opinion. Job opportunities are amazing. I'll see you guys in the next session and explain more about Python Django.